The headlines tonight on Dateline Scotland. In a devastating blow to the nationalists, recently translated fragments of the Dead Sea Scrolls suggest that Jesus believed the UK was better together. Jesus, long thought to be the Son of God and Saviour of mankind, has up until now stayed out of the referendum debate. But the recently discovered excerpts attributed to Christ the Redeemer have given an unexpected boost to the No campaign. Also on tonight's programme, Vote No Borders and Malcolm Offord's planned merger with France enters its final stages. We don't need borders in this world. We want to bring to take down border, borders, not put up borders. And there's embarrassment for the organisers of Glasgow 2014 as today's track meeting was thrown into chaos following a mass pitch invasion. I don't like it. I don't think they need to do that. Good evening. Tonight's main story follows some unexpected findings by archaeologists translating a previously unknown section of the Dead Sea Scrolls. Discovered over 50 years ago in the Middle East, the Dead Sea Scrolls are some of the earliest known texts from the region. In what came as a surprise to the linguists working on the project, it appears that Jesus, who famously featured in the Gareth Gates and the Kumar song, Spirit in the Sky, has now publicly backed the Better Together campaign. Joining us now from our Kilmarnock studio is George Deary, Chief Strategist for Better Together. George Deary, how do you respond to those, particularly on the yes side, who've pointed out that the Dead Sea Scrolls in fact predate Jesus' existence by several hundred years? Uh, well, if you like, you could get any expert to come in and uh, argue one case to the, the argument, one-sided argument to the other. But honestly, honestly, uh, it's, it's yet another example of the, uh, the separatists uh, trying to, any time anyone disagrees with them, they get up and they get, they get monstered. Uh, all this vile bile online, it's, it's, it's got to stop. And it, 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 the cyber nuts, uh, once again, will uh, try to attack this. But it's great news for the better together. That's all very well, but I mean, it is a fact that the Dead Sea Schools predate the life of Jesus. It, it's very hard to see how he could be quoted in them. Well, let, 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 me, let me explain this to you um, without sounding patronising. Um, uh, the Dead Sea Scrolls come from the ancient world, and of course we live in the modern world, and we have always, obviously, put across the Scottish voters that you can get the best of both worlds. With, so, uh, best so you're not denying the fact that... The ancient world, and of course the modern world. So you're not, not denying the fact that it would be impossible for the Dead Sea Scrolls to quote Jesus, given that they predate his existence by, what, 400 years? Best of both worlds. Right, okay, but look, I'm not sure that really answers my question. Monstered. George Deary, I'm afraid we'll have to stop there, but thanks very much Thank for you. joining us. You're watching Dateline Scotland. Don't forget, you can follow us at Twitter, at Dateline Scott, and also DatelineScotland.com. Now, as if the independence vote wasn't enough for one year, Tory donor Malcolm Offord has succeeded in holding his own referendum to remove the UK's border with France. Our European correspondent, Bryony Lang, has more on this story. France. Fiercely independent, more French than a Citroen 2CV, making out with your wife while listening to Edith Piaf and taking the piss out of your cooking. Up until last week, that is. Following Malcolm Offord's controversial No Borders referendum campaign, extensive pre-negotiations have taken place in anticipation of a likely union between France and the UK. And No Borders is, is, is saying exactly what it says on the tin, which is we don't want borders. Malcolm Offord, of course, shot to fame in the early 1980s as one of the presenters of children's favourite Tis Was. Earlier this afternoon, Prime Minister David Cameron met with French President Francois Hollande to express his strong support for the proposed merger. France is an essential and valued partner of Britain. Our economies are closely interwoven. French companies employ 180,000 people across the United Kingdom. Although the official act of union with France is yet to be finalised, the process is predicted to go fairly smoothly and the French population have already voted to accept the Queen as the new head of state. Qui constitue l'essence des liens in the meantime, here at Calais, where I've managed to stock up on a boot full of very drinkable Chardonnay at a fraction of the price you get at Lidl, most Brits still face the unedifying prospect of a land of shifty foreigners when they drive off the ferry. But for now, thanks to Malcolm Offord and his Vote No Borders campaign, we may be one step closer to his vision of a less foreign and borderless world. And it's safe to say this reporter won't be harbouring any ill will. Bryony Lang for Dateline Scotland, here at Calais. Earlier today, officials from Glasgow's 2014 Commonwealth Games were forced to abandon all the day's planned sporting events at Celtic Park following a mass pitch invasion. 
by what was believed to be a splinter cell of the pro-independence group Farmers for Yes. The disruption continued for 11 hours well into the night, with police unable to intervene due to their inability to make up sufficient sets of three. And just time to take a quick look at tomorrow's headlines. The Herald have gone for uh, Rolf Harris impersonator sues British government after da the court case. Oh, daily record, Joanne Lamont uh, taking over as host of the Great British Bake Off. The Sun Sudoku is irritatingly hard today. And the Scottish Daily Mail, actually who cares what Scottish Daily Mail have to say there. Until next time, on behalf of everyone here at uh, Dateline Scotland, thank you very much for joining us and have a very pleasant evening. Good night. <laughs>